story on the continent now. The Ethiopian government claims extreme elements who want to seize power hijacked the legitimate concerns of protesters, saying that led to the current state of emergency. Well, Ethiopia has witnessed unprecedented protests over the last six months. Protesters in Ethiopia, they say they want an equitable share of resources and employment opportunities for the youth. They are concerned about a lack of good governance. The government has admitted that those problems are, or those complaints are fair. And has accepted them as legitimate public grievances. It has promised to take uh, measures to deal with these grievances and to talk to with the people in a large mass in every nine regional states. But the government aimed to take broad-based socio-economic and political intervention with the interests of the peoples in accordance with the public uh, protests. Requests. Unfortunately, this legitimate grievances of the people have been taken by extreme elements. There has been significant destruction of public and private property. The government says the state of emergency is not a blanket ban on all activities. The chaos has created a sense of insecurity and instability in the country. That's why the government declares a state of emergency, which stay for six months. So in this case, uh, the state of emergency uh, has nothing with the protest, has nothing to marginalize one region or two region, but to bring peace and security and to keep the momentum of the economic development of the country has usual is here. The Ethiopian ambassador to South Africa has dismissed the notion that the withdrawal of its troops in Somalia was done to beef up security at home. If there is no fund, Ethiopia can send the peacekeepers, but we cannot fund that one with our economic capacity is here. So they back to home. Sophie Mkwen, SABC News, Johannesburg.